John Walsh was born in Derry in 1950, after 16 years teaching English in Germany. In 1989, he returned to live in Connemara. His first collection of poetry, Johnny Telvin, was published by Gintal Press Derry in October 2006. In 2007, he received a publication award from Galway County Council to publish the second collection, Love's Enterprise Owen, Dura Press, Connemara. <clears throat> his poems have been published in Ireland, the UK and Austria, and he has read and performed his poems at events in Ireland, the UK, Germany and Sweden. He is organiser and MC of the successful performance poetry event, North Beach Poetry Nights in the Crean Bar, Galway, Ireland's leading monthly performance poetry event. In March this year, John won the Spring Festival Poetry Slam at the Munster Literary Festival in Cork. He has also been known <laughs> to show up with his guitar and deliver one or two of his own songs. Chopping Wood with T.S. Eliot, a third collection of 60 new poems was published by Salmon Poetry in May 2010. Visit his webpage at www.johnwalshpoetry.com. John Walsh. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's uh, wonderful being here in the loft, in the loft bar, with you all. And this beautiful little theatre, my God, it's fantastic. It's, wish we had that in Galway. Envious, Dominic. Totally envious. Thank you very much for asking me to come along. And uh, I'm going to start my third collection. The Salmon Collection was launched on Saturday in Galway. And I'm going to start with a few poems of that, then I'll read a few from the other two, and then i probably go back to I think one or two from this one. <coughs> the first poem is called Accidents. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Good. Can you understand me? Yes. I don't have a very strong dairy accent anymore because I was teaching in Germany and I lost because I couldn't go and say, well now boys, you all know what I'm saying. <laughs> and so I had to doctor my accent, I'm very sorry. This poem is based around two incidents. Uh, when we were growing up in Derry in the 50s, and we, I lived in the Cregan, which was a big Catholic kind of ghetto housing estate, probably very much the same as something around Limerick here. And uh, there were about, at that time, four cars a week. You know? But my younger brother managed to be in the middle of the road on the day that the fourth car came, and it knocked him down, which was quite, an, quite a sensation. Didn't do him any harm, he's still uh, very, very happy, and he was at the launch on Saturday. I wrote a poem about it, and uh, I was dying to get it into the school magazine. It was one of my, I think it probably was my first poem. And I learned very quickly, as all poets, musicians, and actors have to learn, to deal with rejection. Because I never did get a poem into the school magazine. It broke my heart. You feel sorry for me? Uh, Let me hear it. Uh, I'll pass around my hat, John. Uh, no, it's for sorrow. We'll just fill it up with uh, sympathy. Yes, I'll right, right. Falling material helps as well. So um, there's a real, uh, I don't know, when I heard years later that the teacher who rang, ran the school magazine had an accident himself, I couldn't help but having a little pang of satisfaction in my heart. You know. It was malicious, but I think we're entitled to that every now and again. Do you agree? Yes. You're all right, you're all right. Okay, accidents. The day my brother went over the bonnet of the car, a matador over a bull's horns, smack onto the concrete, lay wasted like a discarded doll. Somebody ran for Dr. Cosgrove while he was carried in, laid out unconscious on the couch, then rushed to out the galvan on the back of the on the back seat of the car that hit him. The driver, still in shock, repeating he had not been driving fast. No way had he been driving fast. My mother threw on something decent, held his head softly in her lap. I think, I think that's how it was. I wrote a poem about it, not good enough for you. Nor the way we talked, not being politicians, doctors, teachers, sons. You didn't want us and made sure we knew. I can still rhyme off the names of those you didn't want. 
of those who sat there with not a clue what emotion recollected in tranquility meant. Tranquility, where we came from, was not that big. Emotion, if that meant feelings, was the last thing we admitted to. Recollected? To this day, I have not forgotten any of it. Nor how when I returned to be your colleague, you sidled up to me to offload your advice. Pick the best, you said. There's no way you can focus on them all. You headed back to class without knowing how your words galled, how the faces of those chosen few were brought back in a final curtain call. Later, when I heard the news, though I knew it wasn't right, it seemed a kind of justice after all. Thank you.